Okay, so welcome sa lesson 6 natin and this will be Islam. So, ano yung pumapasok sa uh, isip natin pag sinasabing Islam? So, ito ay sa Muslim, no? So, natin Muslim. But before we start, no? Let's have our prayer. Alaysa, since ikaw lang naman yung nandito. So, let's start uh, with the prayer. Let's bow our hands and feel the presence of our Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you po sa mga blessings na ibinigay niyo po sa amin at patuloy na ibinibigay niyo po sa amin. Salamat po sa magandang araw at nagising po kami. Uh, salamat po sa lahat-lahat. Lord, patawarin niyo po kami sa mga kasalanan namin, sinasadya po man namin ito or hindi. Alam po namin nagkamali kami at humihingi po kami ng kapatawanan ninyo. Humihiling po kami o ng gabay at patnubay ninyo. Bigyan niyo po kami ng talino at lakas sa araw-araw at hinihiling din po namin ang na matapos na ang pandemyang ito. Amen. Your Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, so good morning. So, ito na yung lasa natin kanina. No? Sabi ko kanina, um, Islam. No, or Islam. Sabi Islam, pumapasok sa isip natin, mga Muslim or the Muslim community, no, they are the followers of this religion, Islam. So, kung matandaan natin, no, mayroong ta mayroon tatlong religion na Abrahamic, no, Judaism, tapos mayroon tayong Christianity, and the third is Islam. So, ito na yung pangatlo. Uh, Islam from still from Abraham. So, dito sa ano sa sa Islam. No, uh, pinag uh, pinag natin sa previous lesson natin sa religion ng Christianity yung pinadala ang ano ang kaisa isa niyang anak para ano uh, save tayo, maligtas tayo para ano uh, mga kasalanan ng ginawa natin. We also learn how Christianity spread, no? paano siya nagsimula, paano ito na-divide, na tapos paano siya naging very popular as of today. So this day, on this lesson, we will learn how Islamic faith started and how the Islamic faith is one of the fastest growing religion of the world. Ang um, mabilis din siyang ano, lumalago as of now. No? So kung titignan natin dito, no, kilala niyo ba tong mga to? Si Mike Tyson, si Dave Chappelle, si Jimmy McCann, si Shaquille O'Neal, at si Janet Jackson. Popular tong mga to. Uh, I hope kilala niyo sila. Um, ano kayang field ang ano ang kanilang ginagalawan? So, you will have to answer that. No, tingnan niyo lang sa ano sa Google, tingnan niyo kung sino sila at um, anong field ang kanilang ginagalawan but they are the followers of Islamic faith. For the historical background, no, samahin ko nyo dyan yung, ano, yung crescent moon and the star no, or the hilal. It could be the representation of the Islamic faith. Many Muslim nations adopted star and crescent moon in their national flag. <clears throat> so pagka makita ninyo na uh, ang, ang flag ay merong crescent moon at star, ibig sabihin, um, ito ay ano, uh, more of the Islamic religion. Islam is one of the youngest religions started in the Arabian Peninsula about 7th century. Due to the influence of the other religions which were present um, during those days, the Christianity, Zoroastrianism, and Judaism. <coughs> the Islamic people started a very unique religion which, uh, which worshipped varieties of God. They believe in one supreme God, but also believe in some lesser gods. Their early religion are also animists in nature, which believes in spirit found in rocks, trees, and wells. One of the proof in their worship in the meteorite stones found in Mecca called Kaaba. Na mamaya pag-aralan natin yung Kaaba, ito ay isang napalak napakalaking meteorite na um, doon sila nagkakaroon ng pilgrimage. Uh, people start to build structures in this area and various image, images were present here, including the uh, portrait of Jesus Christ and Mary. 
si Jesus Christ para sa mga Muslim ay kanilang prophet. Ganun din si, ano, si Mary or they called Mary as Miriam. Um, the control of the Kaaba or the Black Stone became very important to, uh, to Arabs because Mecca is situated in the western coast of Arabia which is positioned in major routes of the caravan. Bakit, kaila, bakit may caravan? Because um, ang kanilang uh, prophet, si Muhammad, ay kasama sa nagka-caravan dati. Uh, so, yun ang kanyang trabaho. So, the life of Muhammad or Muhammad ibn Abdullah was born in the oasis town of Mecca. His father died before he was born. At the age of six, his mother died and was adopted by his grandfather, Muhammad al-Mutalib. He belonged to the Hashim of the Quarish tribe that controlled Kaaba. He was taken into custody by his paternal uncle, Abu Talib, the chief of Quarish tribe. Life was difficult for young Muhammad because of poverty, he had no formal schooling, and worked as a camel driver. So kasi nga may caravan, so yung marami silang pinupuntahan, tapos camel driver siya. And from this journey, he met a lot of people with different religion and learned the religion. And because of this, he began to question his people's faith, which is animistic in nature. Um, tapos, um, he retreated to Mount Hira in search of the truth of God. Muhammad, 22 years old, later married Kadiha, became the first Muslim convert, uh, convert, uh, convert convertion, who was at the time of 40 years old. No, so naging asawa niya si Kadiha. In their faith, men is allowed to marry more than one woman, but Muhammad refused to, which in return, Kadiha became one of his staunch supporters. Hindi siya nag-asawa ng iba pa. Um, around 610 CE or the Common Era, Muhammad experienced the voice of God in the kingdom of Mount Hira. God was speaking to Muhammad in Arabic language, according to Armstrong and Babel. Mostly auditory, but occasionally in visual form, he began to experience divine revelation by angels, by, or by angel Gabriel, according to Renat. He shared his experience to his wife since revealing this message will disturb his clan. In 613, common era, Muhammad began to impart these messages to his closest relatives and friends. His relatives began to question his beliefs because this will believe in one supreme God will challenge the established beliefs in the Quarish tribe. Kasi nga sa Quarish tribe, um, animistic na iniwala sa, sila nga sa iba't ibang spirit, ng rocks, trees, and wells, yung mga ganun, na iniwala sila na may spirit doon. Uh, so ngayon, na iniwala si, ano, si Muhammad that there only, should be only one supreme God. In 622 CE, this group moved to Medina. This transfer became known as um, Hydra, which um, marked the beginning of the Islamic calendar. Those who marched along with him is known as the uh, Muhajiron, and those who helped him in Medina were known as Ansar. Through the series of battles in 630 CE, Muhammad finally won and marched to Mecca with 10,000 troops no, unopposed. In Kaaba, he tore down all the trees. 360 pagan gods displayed to the Holy Shrine. So tinanggal niya yung mga pagan god doon at nagsimula na siya magsabi that there should be only one, no, isa lang na Supreme God. In 632 CE, Muhammad died at the age of 62, but his newly founded religion has spread across the Arabian Peninsula. So iyon ang, ang life ni uh, Muhammad. So for your activity, 1.2 sa so, yung historical background in the life of Muhammad um uh, using the table above hindi siya below supply the historic event that happened in each year as you have learned in the previous lessons choose your answer on the table uh, de, lagay niyo na lang yan basahin niyo dun sa sa life of Muhammad tapos isulat niyo yung event na nangyari na 570 CE 610 CE 613 622 and 632 CE so for the sacred scriptures, meron tayong sacred scriptures, di ba? Sa Judaism, ang sacred scriptures nila is the Torah. No? And then sa ano sa, sa Christianity, we have the Bible. No, the the Old Testament and the New Testament. Sa 
Ano naman, dito naman sa Islam or the Islamic faith, meron din silang sacred scriptures. So we have the Quran or the Quran sa ano sa Tagalog. Now, the sacred writing of the Muslims is called Quran or Quran in English. This literally means recitation or reading. The Quran is the revelation from the God in his speech and the foundation of Islamic religion. It is the supreme authority in all matters of faith, theology, and law, according to Parander in 1971. In 610 CE, Muhammad receives the first revelation. He was commanded by angel Gabriel or Ikra to Ikra or recite, basahin or I, ano, i-recite yung mga sinasabi na, ano, na faith regarding sa ano, na sinasabi ni, ni Gabriel. All Muslims believe that the Quran is eternal scripture written in heaven but made to unknown to Muhammad chapter by chapter. So iniwalang na sila na ang original copy ng, ano, ng Quran ay nasa langit. Quran is binding, continuous, continuous and supreme lang talaga ang kanilang paniniwalaan. Only Quran in Arabic, which is revealed by God, is to be considered perfect. So, kung gusto natin mabasa ang Quran, kailangan natin mag-aral ng uh, Arabic na language para mabasa natin ang, ano, ang Quran. For 23 years, 609 to 632 CE, until to his death, relate this message or his message to his companion and secretary Said ibn Tabit. He wrote them on leather scraps, stone pieces, ribs of palm trees, shoulder blades of animals and parchments. Quran is recited and memorized just like their counterpart in Jews and Christianity. It guides the everyday lives of Muslims. No. In size, the Quran has almost same length of the New Testament of the Christians. Its chapter is called Surahs while the verses is called ayahs, which mean evidence or sign. So there are 114 chapters in Quran, 86 which is classified as Meccan, and 28 are Medinian. So ito ang kanilang, uh, kanilang sacred scripture. Pag sinabing Meccans, no, Meccan verses generally pertain to religious ideals, while Medinian verses deal with the organization of the Muslim community. Quran is also divided into 30 equal parts, and each part is known as Jews. Whether thematic or chronological, Quran is arranged based on the length of the surah in the descending order. A person who memorized the Quran is known as the Hafiz. Pagka naman uh, ito ay babae, ang tawag dito ay Hafiza. Pangalawa, so yung Quran yung una, then pangalawa naman is Hadith. The Hadith is the collection of deeds and saying of Muhammad and his follower and the second source of Sharia law. It was collected after the death of Muhammad, which is today the second in authority after the Quran. So ito yung mga ginawa, o mga gawain, mga ginawa ni, ano, ni Muhammad, tsaka yung mga sayings ni Muhammad. Around 9th century CE, Muslim scholars undertook a, a number of great systematic collections of hadith um, that are known as Qutub al-Sita or the six Sahih books. The collections of Persian scholars Muhammad al-Bukhari and Muslim Abiyan al-Hajjad are almost respected and which cited collection. The word Sahih in these titles indicate the author of this book sifted authentic reports about Muhammad. The five pillars of Islam and majority of criminal laws originate from the Hadith. So mamaya, yung, yung five pillars ng, ano, ng, ng Muslims ay dito natin makikita ano yung mga five pillars na yun may alam natin mamaya. Tapos sa Sharia law, ito rin ang galing ko sa hadith kasi ito ay yung deed, yung mga ginawa at saka yung mga pinap, uh, pinagsasabi or sinabi ni Muhammad. Okay, for your activity 1.3 naman. So, the sacred scriptures identify the part of Quran using the word. Um, write the uh, answer in the space provided between the numbers. So, Pagka pinasa nyo na lang yung, ano, yung pinasa ninyo ang work ninyo, sagutan yung 1 to 5, pakilagay na lang yung sagot. No, number 1 is the chapters that compromise Quran. It was also known as the verses for number 2. Number 3, these verses pertains to the Muslim community. Number 4, these verses pertains to religious ideals. And number 5, the systematic collections of hadith. 
So, what are the beliefs and doctrines of the Muslims? No, kasama ba dito yung pinatatakotan natin sa mga Muslim? No, para kasi pag Muslim na baka awayin tayo or baka may gawin sa atin kasi parang nakakatakot sila. Well, the truth is, hindi. No, bakit ba, bakit ba naging ganun ang pananaw? So, tingnan natin sa beliefs and doctrines nila kung bakit natin, kung bakit sila minsan pinatatakotan. Islam became a, uh, began as a way of life for its follower, which uh, God intended for his creations from the very beginning, according to Bokhar. The term Islam originated from the Arabic, Arabic word, which means to submit or to surrender and submit oneself to God. The Muslim word is the Arabic word for a person who submits. So Islamic um, beliefs are more dominantly social in character. Islamic religion dictates that everyday lives of Muslim from education, dress, marriage, sexual relationship, justice, punishment, diet, and even rules of hospitality. For Muslim, there is one compassionate and omnipotent God, Allah, from two Arabic words, Al, which means the definite, and Ilah, God or deity. When combined together, it means the one who is God, Allah or Allah. Sa ating kasi, ala, no? yung pronunciation ng estudyante ko dati, sabi niya is ala. Uh, Muslims every, uh, believes also in a day of judgment where all humankind will be resurrected and individually accounted for. Islamic faith also advocates for the establishment of umma or one single community. Sa Christianity, naniniwala tayo sa judgment day din na tayo will be also resurrected. No? Dito rin sa, ano, sa Islamic faith, ganun din. No, naniniwala sila na humankind will also be resurrected and will be accounted for. So kanina sa hadith, pinag-uusapan yung five pillars of Islam or yung faith of the Islamic faith. No, ano-ano yung five pillars na to? So the first one is the creed. Ano yung pananampalatayan nila? Ano ba yung pinanampalataan? Pinanampalatayaan nila? The basic creed for of Islam that there is no God but Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. It was the first word which will be heard by the infant and the last word will be heard by a dying man. No, so pagka pinanganak, natutuwa uh, sila sabihin is Allah. Pag kami uh, mamatay na, tinatawag din nila si Allah. Um, to be accepted in Islamic faith, one must recite the shahada. No, the first half is known as Tawheed, the unity, which is the most important statement of a Muslim, and the second half is known as Risala. So, para um, matanggap ka bilang isang uh, Muslim, i-reset mo yung shahada. No, para matanggap ka bilang isang uh, Jews, o sa, uh, sa Judaism na, para tanggapin ka, kailangan uh, magsabi ka sa kanila at i-welcome ka nila. Sa Christianity naman, para matanggap ka as a Christian, kailang ikaw ay mabautismohan. So, yun ang, ano, ang pare, magkakapareho. No? And then, the second one, no, ano yung una natin? Shahada or the creed. Ang pangalawa is salat or the obligatory prayer. No? Um, lagi, lagi natin nakikita yung mga, ano, mga kapatid nating Muslim na sila ay Uh, nagdadasal, no, kukuha sila ng, ano, ng lalatagan nila at sila ay magdadasal. Kasi uh, Muslims are required to pray five times a day facing the direction of Mecca which starts at sunrise. Asub. Um, um, pagluhod nila, pagsamba nila, um, pagyuko nila, pagbao nila, sa, nakaharap sila sa, ano, sa direction ng Mecca. Sa, sa tanghali, asur, mid-afternoon, al-asar, after sunset, al-magreb, and before midnight, al-isha. So, iyan po ang ano ang kanilang prayer, obliga- obligatory prayer. Kailangan nila magsal five times a day. Each prayer begins a strong voice, muesin, or call to recite the prayer, adan for the tallest point of the mosque. So, doon sa may, ano, sa may Dasmarinas, Kabite, sa may Lasal, No, may must doon tapos um, every morning naririnig ko yun eh uh, dati sa may lasal naririnig ko yung call for prayer na ito na kailangan natin magdasal ganun, ganun. sa kaya po hindi pa naririnig pero may Muslim 
Muslim community din sa ano sa Quiapo. Pero tinatawag na sila no or the Adan sa so pinaka mataas na bahagi ng mosque or ng mosque na andun sila tinatawag na ang lahat. Adan is a rhythmic prayer devised by Muhammad himself. Before we start praying, a Muslim is required to cleanse himself, wudu, to clean the impurities. Kailangan nilang maglinis ng katawan. It is required that every mosque is equipped with facilities for cleaning hands and feet. Muslim men pray at mosque while women pray at home. To pray Muslim must stand on a clean ground without a shoes or wearing uh, clean ones. Or wearing clean ones. A special carpet may be provided for the clean surface. So doon sila magdadasal. Ang pangatlo, no, shahada, the salat. Now we have the zakat or the poor tax. It is mandatory for wealthy Muslim to share his wealth to the poor. No, kailangan nilang magbahagi sa kanilang mga, sa kanyang kapwa. Widows and orphans through an act of charity. Mga mahirap, sa mga uh, byuda, sa mga kulila. Zakat is only payable when a Muslim accumulated this 2.5% of their total wealth, including their personal properties, land, and jewelries. It is believed that by fulfilling zakat, wealthy Muslim cleanse their material possessions and can liberally enjoy the fortunes with Allah's approval. So, hindi pwede na hindi ka magbibigay. Kapag hindi ka nagbigay, ibig sabihin, hindi ina-approve ni, ni Allah ang ginagawa mo o yung pag-enjoy mo ng iyong fortune o ng iyong kayamanan. So, kailangan mayroong pagbahagi no, para sa, or mga buwis para sa, ano, sa may hirap sa sakat. Pang-apat natin, we have the song or fasting. So, narinig naman natin yan na lagi na fasting ang mga ano, ang mga um, mga Muslim. The Jewish people also do that. The Christians also do that. So, sa ano din, dito rin sa Islam, ginagawa din. Fasting or sun is done in the entire 30 days of Ramadan. Hindi po sila kakain. No, hindi ko alam kung pwede sila minum ng tubig. Pero hindi sila pwede kumain talaga. 30 days. No, para ang hirap. No, kaya, kaya ba natin to na hindi tayo kakain? It was done by all Muslims to express their obedience to Allah and the readiness to relinquish pleasure in their lives. In son, Muslim must refrain from eating, drinking, oh, well, din pala ang drinking, smoking, and engaging in sexual intimacy from dusk to dawn. The son culminates with the feast of breaking the fast of Eid al-Fitir, where Muslim partakes in such festivities. So after ng 30 days no, ng fasting, eto na, meron na tayong celebration ng Eid al-Fitir. Doon na tayo din ay nakikiselebrate sa kanila. And then, ang panglima, yung Hajj or the pilgrimage to Mecca. Once in their lifetime, all Muslims must undertake a pilgrimage to Mecca or Hajj, which is the visitation of the Holy City. Ang isang Muslim, kailangan sa, sa buhay niya, kailangan siya ay magpunta uh, sa, ano, sa, sa Mecca. No? The Grand Mosque house the most sacred site which is the Kaaba. Ano nga uli ang Kaaba? Kaaba, Kaaba yung ano yung black stone na na meteorite. Muslim believes that Kaaba was originally built by Abraham and his Ismail to worship God. Inside the Kaaba is the black stone which some Muslim considered it as prophetic revelation of Muhammad and some as the seal of his prophet uh, prophethood. So ito yung Hajj na makita niyo sa picture, ang daming tao, ayun yung ano, yung lockstaw na yan, umiikot sila dyan, tinitingnan nila yan, na uh, inahawakan. For the worship and observances, the Islamic faith uses Islamic calendar or lunar calendar, which is composed of 354 days. The difference with solar calendar is the lunar calendar is adjusted by adding one day to the last month of the year's um, uh, 11 times each year. Ramadan is celebrated um, every ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Muslims are expected to observe son. It ends with Eid al-Fitir or the festival of the breaking which every Muslim celebrates. In the 12th month of Islamic calendar, do al-Hijjah able bodies, Muslims may come to Mecca to perform a pilgrimage. Upon entering the Grand Mosque, Hajj performed tawaf which, um, 
involves of circling and bowing to the Kaaba seven times in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so most pilgrims attempt to kiss or touch the sacred black stone. Once tawaf is complete or completed, Muslim can drink in the well of Samsam that was established by Hagar, Hagar, and Ishmael. The Idal Ada, also the Feast of Sacrifice, marks the end of pilgrimage season. Yung Idal Id al Ada, or the Feast of Sacrifice, ito naman yung pumapatay sila ng mga sheep, at ito ay, or yung tupa, tapos pinagahaki-hakian nila. No? Muslim is required to slaughter a live hog, animal, goat, or sheep to commemorate Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son, Ishmael, in obedience with God. After completing Hajj, you can now uh, visit other holy cities such as Medina in Israel. And when they return home, they can now uh, affix the title Hajj in their name to indicate religious responsibility. Friday is the special day for worship for Muslims. In every mosque, they are required to be led by the imam or the priest. Actually, hindi talaga siya yung, ano, uh, yung pinaka-minister nila. But they were only led by uh, an imam. Now, uh, let's have the Islamic law. Uh, ano ba yung law? Bakit may sariya law? Bakit may silang sariling law? The concept of Islamic law and justice, also known as Sharia, the law of water in place, is based upon Quranic verses revealed by God to Muhammad. The Sharia is a path that all must be followed by all Muslims. Kahit dito sa Pilipinas, um, their students, merong Sharia law. Pagka ang law is regarding sa Muslim tradition or the Islamic faith, kailangan Sharia law ang hahawa. Kung ito ay pag-aaway ng mga ano, asawa ng mga asawa ng Muslim, uh, ito ay kailangan sa Sharia law. For the Islamic jurisprudence, no, uh, Islamic jurisprudence or the science of Islamic law, the fiqh, they are classified into five categories. So mayroon tayong five categories dito. We have the haram, which is the forbidden, makro, um, discouraged, muba, neutral, Mandub, recommended, and fard, obligatory. So, paano malalamang tama ang iyong ginagawa? Paano malalamang tama yung, yung gagawin mo? Titignan mo, yung, titignan mo yung science of Islamic law or the fiqh. No? Tingnan mo natin, ito ba ay forbidden, ito ba ay discouraged, yung mga ganun. So, haram, ibig sabihin, um, forbidden. Examples of forbidden acts are eating pork. Bawal silang kumain ng baboy. Drinking blood, bawal po. Eating dried blood and taking liquors, bawal din silang mag-inom. No? Obligatory acts are the five pillars of Islam while the other three categories are concerned mainly on etiquettes, donations, personal habits, and social life. Um, usually, ang mga Muslim, pagka sila ay bibili ng ano, na, hindi, kayo pala, uh, dear students, tingnan nyo na lang pagka kayo ay bibili ng mga delata. Meron kayo mga kata doon na ano, nakasulat, halal. Ibig sabihin, uh, pwede. No, pwede nilang kainin. Halimbawa, mga century tuna, yung mga ganyan. Nakita kasi may nakasulat doon na kalagay halal. Ibig sabihin, pwede. For the activity 1.4 no, sa, sa table natin, um, isasulat ninyo yung name of God sa Judaism, name of God sa Christianity, name of God sa Islam. Ano yung worldview nila? Ano yung belief? Ano yung doctrines? Ano yung important events? So, iyan yung ipapasa nyo sa akin for the activity 1.4. For the subdivisions, nahati din ang, ano, ang, ang Muslim faith. No? Similar to other religions, Islam has also sex. No? which are primarily to do as to how this sex uh, interpret some aspect of the Islamic faith and of the Quran. Magkaiba kasi sila ng, ano, ng pag, uh, pag-interpret pa rin. Inasmuch as Muslims agree on the fundamental tenets of the Islamic religions, variations may occur in, in may of their beliefs and practice according to Hobb in 1993. So nahate ang um, Islamic faith. So sino-sino itong mga to? We have the Sunni Muslim or the Sunnis. Sunni Muslim is comprised about 87 to 90 of the Muslim population. The Sunnis is also known as the follower of the smooth path 
other traditionalists and considered the orthodox of Islam as they endeavor to follow the original religion established by Muhammad and guided by the first four righteous caliphs, according to Hawk. Their name originated from the Arabic word sunnah, which uh, they mean, uh, it means they follow customary practices. They believe that any Muslim can be ruler as long as Uma approves. Rule can be fair or cruel, and Uma cannot question their actions. Every Muslim has a Sunni majority. May mga Sunnis dito, except sa, ano, sa Iran, Iraq, uh, Azerbaijan, Yemen, and the Gulf states. Walang Sunni doon. Ano ang nasa kanila? Sila ay mayroong Siya or the Shiites. No. Bakit pakinggan? Baka sabihin ng mura ko. Hindi. Shiites. No. Uh, the Shiites are believer of the Ali Ibn Ali Talib. They believe that uh, after the death of Muhammad, his cousin Ali Ibn Abi Talib should succeed Muhammad in spiritual and political, which is cousin and son-in-law that married the daughter of Muhammad. They were known as the Ali or the party of Ali. Ali's son um, challenged one of the caliphs and was killed by Yazid in 680 common era. The main shit sex are the seveners, dwellers, and ibadis. The, sev the severners, sorry, seveners believe that there are seven imams. They are mostly found in India, Yemen, and parts of Africa. So mga pansin nyo, they're students. No? Yung isa, yung Sunnis, they are the traditional. And the other one is the medyo, hindi sa traditional. Medyo, uh, kaiba yung kanilang pananaw. No? May, meron na silang nadag, dinagdag. So Shia or the Shiites, but dito pa din, no, meron silang tinatawag nga na 12 verse and may, meron silang 7 verse. So 12 verse, the 12 verse claims that there are 12 imam which is located in Iran and the ibadis are mostly found in Oman. Sufi, su, Sufi or the Sufi can be Sunni or Shiites. No, ito pa yung isa pang ano, isa pa siyang um, subdivision, the Sufi. Their main concern is the dwell for mystical union with God. Their name came from the word soup, which means woolen, since they wear coarse wool garments or robes to symbolize poverty. A convert who joins is called a fakir. A dervish, one who comes at the door, mostly soupy practice discipline, poverty, abstinence, and celibacy in some instance. So, iyon pa yung isa sa, ano, sa subdivision. So, May mga issues din sa, sa Islam. Kung sa Jewish, may issues. Sa Christianity, may issues. May issues din ang ano ang Islam. No? Ano ba tong issue nila? For the Islam and women, ano, ano ba ang, ang issue nila about women? The role of women in Islamic nation is complicated subject because their rights very greatly in Islamic nation. Walang masyadong karapatan. No? In some Asian countries, women is allowed to lead a nation. No, sa, sa Indonesia, pwede. No. Women in Islam must accept, must accept the role in the society. They are expected to be obedient to their fathers and husband. Kailangan susundin mo sila kung ano sabihin ng, ng tatay at ng asamo. Kailangan mong sumunod. A surah portrays the superiority of men over women. All Muslims are expected to follow the five pillars, but some activities are dominated by men. Women are not allowed to lead prayers. Parang sa analin din, sa, sa Judaism and Christianity, no, ang, ang, ang leader for, for their religion, for our religion then is ano, men. No. And then, um, the Gautamos, they, sorry, ano sa naba? Hindi sila pwede din magpunta sa mosque kapag meron silang menstruation. In some countries, women are required to cover their faces and legs. No, kaya merong, merong, merong takip. No, hijab. May hijab yung, ano, yung mga kabaihan. Hindi, pa sila, hindi sila pwede mag ano. Tapos meron silang abaya. Susunod nila hanggang dito. Tapos meron pa silang yung nakatakip sa, ano, sa mukha nila. Nakalimutan ko yung tawag doon. No. And then, Quran assures women the right to own, dispose, and inherit properties and earning to participate in political exercise, 
and to support divorce. So, pwede sila makipag-divorce in yan sa Sharia law nila dadalhin yun. Some Western countries may view Islam as anti-women. Quran uphold pro-equality to many issues. Quran viewed men and women equal because they are both to be assessed in judgment day. So, yun po. Another issue sa, ano, sa, sa Islam is the holy war or the jihad. Jihad means effort or struggle to convince non-believers to pursue the Muslim way of life. So, if you will remember, there's the then last year, yung sa, as, sa ISIS, or two years ago yata sa ISIS, yung ano yung uh, nagkakalat sila ng terrorism. No? Every Muslim faith is required to join the holy war. Pagka nag-declare siya na ng holy war sa, sa isang bansa, kailangan lahat ng Muslim sasama. It could mean going to war to wipe up the infidels and can be a peaceful one such as living a pious life of observing the required obligation to his faith, Islamic laws opposes the use of all violence. So another one is militancy and terrorism. So ito nga yung sinasabi pa kanina about the ISIS. Islam is religion of peace and mercy that prohibits terrorism. Um, during Muhammad's time, the uh, he prohibited the killing of women and children and even listed murder as a majority sin. Bawal na bawal. Muslim who uses terrorism does not embody any Muslim ideals. A person committing a lack of terrorism is guilty of violating Islamic laws. Pero, ito ang nangyayari. Nagkakaroon ng, ano, ng terrorism at ginagamit nila yung faith nila na dahil, dahil ikaw ay Muslim, kailangan mong sumama sa akin na pinapatay nila yung ibang, ano, ibang members of faith. No? Pagkaiba yung faith sa kanila. The other one is migration. If you can see uh, that picture, that picture is, I think, sa Syria. No? Kasi parang ginayera yung kanilang bansa. So wala silang bansa. So kailangan nilang mag-migrate. Kailangan nilang umalis. Nakalungkot lang kasi walang gustong tumanggap sa kanila. No? Sa culture natin, pagka kasi tinanggap natin ang mga, ano, ang mga ganyan, hindi naman ayaw natin. Kundi, maaring magkaroon ng conflict sa sa kanilang faith, sa kanilang culture, yung culture natin sa ating ring, sa kanilang culture or yung faith natin sa kanilang faith. No. So, yun. The late, the late 19th century saw the significant migrations of Muslims from Syria and Lebanon and Jordan to the US. So, marami ng mga Muslim dito sa US after the Second World War. European countries encourage migration from former colonies to augment shortages of manpower. So dahil nangamatay nang na yung, ano, yung mga kalakihan mula sa uh, bansang Europa, sa kontinente ng Europa, sa mga bansa nito, kailangan nila ng kalakihan. So nag-encourage sila na magpunta sa bansa nila. The Muslim population in US and Europe continue to rise in the present century. Hanggang ngayon, no? the America... In America, there were around 6 million Muslims, which is mostly African-American. So, yun po. Kahit sa, ano, sa France right now, uh, napakadaming uh, mga Muslim na nakatara sa, sa France. Kasi yung mga French naman, yung mga natural na French, sila yung umaalis. No? Umaalis sila sa bansa nila, tapos lumilipat sa, sa France. For your activity, 1.5, subdivisions and selected issues, supply the right answer to the question. You have to answer the following. Number one is they believe in the mystical union with God. Number two, they believe that the cousins of Muhammad eventually should succeed him politically and religiously. Number three, they believe that anyone can be a leader as long as they are approved by the Ummah. Number four, means effort or struggle to convince non-believers to pursue the uh, Muslim way of life. And number five, it is the religion of peace and mercy. And then you have to answer the following questions. No, In what way Islam similar to Christianity? So kanina, nabanggit ko na yung um, similarities natin sa kanila. So pakisulat na lang po ulit. And then, how do the five pillars of Islam give a sense of unity and structure to the religion? 
as followed by all Muslim worldwide. And then, how do you think the global terrorism affect Islam as a religion in the eyes of the world? What negative effects did it have on innocent Muslim uh, in their everyday lives? So in po. And then also, for the last one, um, Islam is a religion of peace and mercy. Sinasabi natin yon or sinasabi din nila yon. Write an essay on how terrorism and militancy affect the lives of the ordinary Muslim. Paano yung mga ordinary Muslim? Paano ito naka-apekto yung terrorism and militancy na sinasabi natin sa kanila, na binabato natin sa kanila? So minimum of 25 sentences in a paragraph form. Yan po ang gagawin. So, yan po. Uh, so, po tayo. So, um, may question. Kaysa, may Wala question. naman po, sir. Wala. Si John Christ nandito pala. Tapos si ano si si May Nick daw nandito kanina ano. So, wala na siya. Anyway, um today is April 27, you know, um still we are celebrating the 500 years of ano of the commemoration ng Philippine history natin. Uh, isa sa pinag uh, natin ngayon is the Battle of Mactan where Lapu-Lapu defeated Magellan. Na parang kailan lang, parang kailan ba ito? Parang nung, nung nakaraan, no? the baptism of the Filipinos na no? pinagdiwang natin. Tapos ngayon naman, pinatay na niya no? ni, ni Lapu-Lapu si Magellan. And that is uh, our uh, uh, that is our bravery Ang, ang tapang natin, mga Pilipino, hindi ka pa CCL. No, hindi pa CCL sa ano sa mga kaaway. Um, ano yung connection nito ngayon, ngayon sa atin that we are now Ano ba? ba? Ano ano connection nito? Ano ang dapat nating um para sa inyo, dear students, nito kayo. Para saan to? Bakit kailangan nating alalahanin yung kabayanihan nila ko lapo? Alaysa Bakit kailangan alalahanin ang kabayanihan ni Lapu-Lapu? For me po, sir, if hindi po nilabanan ni Lapu-Lapu si Magellan sa Mactan, uh, yung masasakop po tayo agad-agad and yun po. Ay, pinaano kasi, no? Yung parang... Uh, pinakita natin na tayo ay friendly. Di ba? Okay. Kaya winelcom, winelcom natin sila. Pero may ginawa itong mga kastilang ito sa mga kababaihan. No, ng at mga kababaihan natin, nirape yung ibang ano natin doon. Okay. So, yun, nagtanggol. nagtanggol no? John Chris, para sa tingin mo, tingin mo para sa itong pag-alala natin sa Battle of Mactan. Jan Chris, nandiyan ka. Sir, uh, hindi ko po masyado na itindihan yung lesson kasi kakapasok ko lang po. Pero po yung, para po sa akin yung pag-alala po sa kabayan na nila po lang po. Na para may kukunik po natin yung sa mga nangyari ngayon. Kasi alam naman po natin na yung mga teritoryo nga po natin, unti yung tingin sinasakot. At pa, siguro dapat maging matapang din po yung mga Pilipino na ipaglaban yung teritoryo natin. Yun, totoo At hindi tayo basta-basta kasama. Oo. Very good. Ang galing. Ah, kailangan sumakay tayo ng jet ski. Lahat tayo. Tapos, mungkunda tayo sa ano sa West Philippine Sea. Di ba lahat na lang tayo? <laughs> Ayun lang po yung talaga yung problema. Malakas po yung mga Pilipino. Matapang po sila. Malakas uh, po yung bank tower. Pero kulang po talaga tayo sa technology. Para uh, yung pilagang talaga. Hindi lang technology, kulang tayo sa armas, wala tayong armas. Hindi na hindi na ano, hindi na hindi na uubra yung ano, yung kutsilyo natin, yung ating mga tabak, no? Tsaka yung ating mga spear o mga sibat. Kasi ilang naman ang ginamit nila, wala po kay ano, kay Magellan, no? Pero ngayon hindi pwede, baka may baka tayo ay ano, pindutan ng ano, ng bomba at eto na yung mga rocket sa atin, no? So, yon But still, magandang sariwain natin yung kabayanihan ng una nating bayani na si Lapu-Lapu. No? 
nakaawa nga lang si Lapu-Lapu, siya ay namatay sa kamay ng kusunero. <laughs> Hindi, joke lang. Isang joke yun, sila pumatay kay Lapu-Lapu, yung kusunero. Kasi pinangalan yung Lapu-Lapu sa isda. Anyway, so, yun yung lesson natin ngayon. No? 